Well, that is it for Pensacola Beach. I really wish we could have spent more time here, but of course, uh, destination Orlando this time. Maybe next summer. Uh, definitely would like to come back here though. Pensacola Beach is a really cool place. And uh, just run up and down the coastline, you know, back and forth between Destin and here and stay at a few different spots if that's at all possible. Because I'm quite sure reservations are really hard to come by here in the summertime. But there is a ton of stuff here as well. And then this whole entire side right over here is nothing but just a really long beach. Plenty of public parking. You can just access it all you want to. Uh, there's the toll bridge booth for the $1 toll. Do not make the mistake we did and set your Google Maps to avoid tolls because it will take you 40 miles out of the way. But that's it. We're crossing over the bridge back from Pensacola Beach. Back over to Pensacola and we will hit I-10. Right turn Clyde and we are on our way to Orlando. We will see you guys there. Florida's being mountainy looking. literally like just happened in front of us
Ooh, that one right there just for you, Virgil. Mm-hmm. In case nobody found Jimmy Hoffa yet, he may be in the trunk of that car. Buck, Virgil, that's for you. Look at them three 350 V8s on it. Yeah. And people think we use a lot of fuel. That's a horse right there. Well, we had turned on to 75 south off of I-10 to run down towards Ocala, and then we were gonna cut across to Orlando that way. But apparently, Interstate 75 in Florida is like the accident capital of Florida, and we encountered seven wrecks in the freeway before we ever even made it to Ocala. And it was just killing us on time. I mean, we were just creeping along. So anyway, we turned off here on the Florida 326. It's going to take us just right at smack through the middle of Florida here and some back roads, uh, country land. And uh, anyway, it's going to skate around Ocala and get us on into Orlando. We're going to save about an hour and a half. Uh, I mean, just every time we turned around, it was another wreck. I, I, don't, I don't know what the deal is. I thought people drive bad in Texas, but... Uh, Apparently not. But uh, anyway, we're just gonna cut across here on into Orlando, enjoy the scenery, and we will get there eventually. Okay, it's not that you would come all the way to Orlando, Florida just to eat at McDonald's because, no, you would never do that. But you would, however, come all the way to Orlando, Florida to say that you have eaten at the world's largest McDonald's. Yes, that is where we're at, the world's largest McDonald's. Yes, it is three stories tall. There is a whole entire floor that is nothing but an arcade and the play place area covers all three floors. So the slides that end up down here start all the way up here. So yes, this is the world's largest McDonald's in Orlando, Florida. Welcome to Universal City Walk. Thank you. 